Hello folks, Sam Owens here and uh, we've got a nice uh, product for the folks that uh, work with tools and projects at home in the garage or this could be for a shop. It's a rolling tool tray and it has a capacity of uh, 220 pounds you can put on it but you can organize the tools that you'll need for a job. It even has compartments here that you could put uh, parts that you're going to use or screws, bolts, anything that you need that's small in an organized uh, area. They have three of them. This is the platform right here. These are the bottom support rails that the wheels will sit on. This is the handle, and this is the vertical assembly that supports the tool tray to the platform on the bottom. Very simple, and you have a liner here with four nice casters and uh, end caps uh, to protect uh, the end from being unfinished. We have accessories, we have tools uh, to assemble, and we have screws, bolts, and some more parts in here. <clears throat> here is the uh, instruction uh, manual. Really, it's a pictorial view of the rolling uh, tool tray uh, assembled. And over on the right-hand side are columns of parts identified and the quantity. I've got the parts we need to get started. We're going to assemble the bait. Uh, first thing we want to do is assemble these using these screws and washers. Also, they provide you with the necessary tools to do the job. If you don't have tools, I have tools that I would like to use. And right here, is the Allen tool, and I like the idea of a screwdriver handle, and also 14 millimeters uh, will help put this on. Got okay. to put this up like that, and they're going to go right in here with a washer and a bolt. And you just pick it up a little bit, line the holes up. There. And we'll get the other one on the bottom here. Whoop. Don't forget washers. And I can just kind of tip it, line it up. And we're going to do the other. We're only going to do this one side, and then I'll go and do the other side. And I think you'll see uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Once you get a couple of threads, it's good. And then the fourth one. And then we just tighten them. Okay, I'm just gonna tighten this one, and that would be the same going all the way around. Kind of snug them up, not completely tight, until you go through and do all of them. And do this one, just snug. And I'll complete these and the other side, and we'll come back. Now, when you do put these on, and I should have told you, on the bottom is the uh, nuts that are welded in, so you want those facing down. And it would be obvious if you had the nuts facing up that you can't mount the uh, casters. Now, another thing is you need to uh, mount these. They just compress in through there. A little mallet. Anything that you can hammer with, this is soft plastic. Okay. Now we can uh, actually, before we put the wheels on so that this is uh, steady and not uh, rolling all over the place, I could put the tray on right now. These four locations are going to fit with screws and washers that are going to go up into here, and there's the threaded bolt locations. So I can just kind of and watch out that it don't go off the edge. So I can, could have these ahead of time, and I just fold that, and this is easy to, to thread in. 
Okay, and get another one. I'm not going to get them all the way tight. I'm going to go ahead and complete them and I'll be back on the last tightening of the last bolt. Okay, now the last one right here. And you want these tight, all four of them. As a matter of fact, go over and tighten. Make sure all bolts are tight when you're finished. Next, we're going to put the handle on. And the handle goes right here. Okay, this is where this is going to mount on the outside they're showing. Yep, and it fits just right. They're perfect. I'm going to do the top first. So I'm going to put a bolt through here. To get it lined up and one through there. Then that will hold it. Get two washers and two nuts. And I'll put one, one washer here, and I'll add the nut behind it. It's always good to have a washer when you got a nut to go into a hole. And I'll do this one. Hold it with your finger, and then you just kind of spin it on. And I'll tighten it in a moment. We're going to go down here, put this one in. So I'll just push this over, that, drop that on, and then that. And same way with the last one. I'm just going to hold it with my finger a little bit there. Okay. I think you got the idea. I'm going to go ahead and, and tighten them all up and then be right back. All complete. Now I'm going to spin this around and we're going to put the casters on. Be right back. They show a nut. Because we have four nuts here. And that is exactly what you can do is adjust the height and lock it in. These will be lock nuts. So you want one of these on each one. And that way you can even them up on the floor to make sure that one caster isn't higher than the other and it'll hold that position. So take the, the nut that's on it as part of it and tighten it in. Okay, now I'm going to spin it in and probably leave the lock nut about halfway out. I'll show you when I get back. Now, <clears throat> I'm down close to where I want to be. I've got a few threads there that I can move the wheel back and forth and then use this to lock it in place. When I get to the point I want, click right there. So that is a lock nut and then this can spin around. And if the wheels aren't exactly right, then I can loosen this and adjust the in and out on all four of them. So I'm going to go and put all of them on and, and uh, come back. Okay, 
Okay, all four are on, and actually there's a brake on these wheels that you can push down. Actually, you push down with your foot, and uh, it'll lock this wheel. We'll demonstrate when we get it on the floor. Now, they give you four of these little end caps, and again, we can put them right in there. And those go in a little easier. And uh, you see it rolls in a complete circle, and the, the casters really roll nicely and everything. And you can spin it in a circle. Now, these are kind of guards as you're pushing it to not bump into anything. So this will go just like that. And there's little things here you, that protect the glue. So this will go right on here like this. Push it up in there. And on the bottom. And we do the same with the other side and I'll come back. Okay, we've got our corner guards and all of our guards are and plugs are on. And now here is a nice soft material that you can lay in there to lay your tools on. And that'll be nice. And then you have these. That one goes there. This one goes here. And this could be just about any way you want to do it. Folks, just to give a simple idea of what you can do, uh, here's some tools for a various job that I might really need to uh, take out to the car or something. I've got places to put things, screwdrivers, and anything else I need. So uh, this is going to be very helpful. For a lot of people, uh, this could be a real asset. I want to thank you very much for watching my videos.